We continue to track the fallout from the Austin DNA lab debacle a year and a half after the state found significant problems there. Today, council members took steps to make sure the city does not repeat the same mistakes that led to the lab's closure. Council members approved a contract with the University of Pennsylvania Law School to do a thorough assessment of the factors that led to problems and identify best practices for the Austin Travis County area going forward. We're also tracking one case directly impacted. Last night at 9 o'clock, we told you the Court of Criminal Appeals granted a new hearing for Arlie Escobar. He was sentenced to death in the 2009 murder of 17-year-old Bianca Maldonado. Escobar's defense argues the Please DNA evidence the state really used was mishandled. Today, Travis County District Attorney Margaret Moore says she will not remove the death penalty if she has to retry this case without really compelling evidence. Well, because of the reviews that took place when the case was going to trial, uh, we feel very confident that the DNA evidence used in this case uh, was, was not affected by the problems that have come to light since then. Moore says the evidence was also tested by a private lab and those results line up with what the APD lab found. She told KXAN's Alyssa Gord today how her office is just beginning to identify the cases that will now need a second look. Just want to get, get it done, get it done right. After questions about the integrity of evidence at the Austin Police DNA Lab, Margaret Moore's employees at the District Attorney's Office have flagged thousands of cases that need further review. In a way, it's kind of a shame that one or two or, you know, a few cases, a one analyst could cause as big a problem as this. But on the other hand, it's probably good for us as a community to take a hard look at things. In Travis County, there's never been anything like this. What started with reviewing a Travis County rape case brought to light problems with the now closed APD crime lab. The DA's office is sending the questionable cases to a forensic expert at the University of North Texas. We're only looking for cases where we may not have been able to obtain the conviction if the DNA evidence was invalid or didn't exist. There were some problems at APD lab. That does not mean that every single case was tainted by any stretch of it. In fact, Moore now believes there will only be a handful of cases using APD evidence that require retrial. Do you hope to be able to say once you get to the end of reviewing all these cases? Well, what I intend to be able to say uh, is uh, that we've done everything we can do. Moore says citizens deserve to have a justice system with evidence they can trust. Now we are looking at we're going to begin the process of looking at what should we be doing in the future. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. The district attorney's office is sending notices to defense attorneys in any case that could have been impacted by APD's DNA lab. More than 1,800 are qualified to receive notices. Just over 1,000 have been sent out. About half of those are now under review. Of almost 200 that have already been reviewed, 55 need to be scrutinized further.